In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the game hacking challenges from Integrity's Lead Up Live CTF 2023. The challenge is called Dark Secrets, and the description says, Welcome to the enigmatic world of Dark Secrets. In this captivating challenge, you'll embark on a perilous journey through a land shrouded in darkness. Your mission is to defeat formidable enemies and uncover the hidden flag, a powerful secret waiting to be discovered. Good luck, adventurers. Unveil the dark secrets that lie within and emerge victorious. So the challenge is by Eternos and Mahmood, and there's also a hint here which says, if you're stuck on some stairs, try pressing space. So there's no servers to connect to, we just need to download this zip file, and I'm going to move over to Windows so that we can run the game. Okay, I've moved over to my Windows VM, and I've got the zip folder extracted, and we've got an exe, we've got a game data file, and some options. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the game, and we'll go to New Game. And here we can use the directional keys to move around. I think if we press X, we can go in and we can like save the game. So this might be useful as you're trying to work your way through it. Uh, we can do some stuff with like equipping items and changing skills, although I didn't really play with that too much. So initially, the first thing to do is just try to explore the game and see what you can do. If you go up to a door, it'll automatically go in. There's nothing inside that one. We could talk to this guy, but let's just go and check what's over here first. So we have a couple of buildings to check out. Maybe you'll also do some other things in the process here, like running Wireshark to see if there's any packets going to and from a server. Maybe you can modify some of them if there's anything interesting. Or you could open up Cheat Engine and see if you can modify values in the game or like identify your health or some enemy's health and things like that. Um, we can go around and try and click on space just to see if we're able to interact with things in general. doesn't seem like we're able to. So nothing of interest in here. Let's go to the building which had the guy in front of it. So we talked to this guy and he's telling us that there's a boss inside, be prepared. And now we're able to go inside this building. And this is the building which has an issue with one of the stairs. So I guess just the way that the stairs are created here means it doesn't actually do anything if you run into them. So you need to click space, it's basically like uh, opening, interacting with a door or something like that. And if we do that, we'll go through to this boss, we can go and talk to him, and he says he's a cringe demon. Do we wish to challenge him? And no matter what we select, we will challenge him. And you can just, I just select the default options here, so we're setting all four of our characters to attack. And then you can see the effects. And we'll do it again. And there we go, we have killed the demon, although the demon actually stays here, so we can just fight him again. Each time we do that, we'll get more gold and experience, so I guess you could use that to kind of farm and build up your character. But once we've defeated it once, let's just try and exit the building and see what's different in the map. All right, we could talk to this guy, but he'll just say the same thing. However, if you notice towards the beginning, there was actually some sign in front of this well so that you couldn't interact with it. And now that's been removed, so we can actually jump into the well. Okay, that takes us through to this other realm where let's go and talk to this guy and see what he says. And it has removed these hedges, so we can go up to this other well. And it asks us for a password. So it's quite a long password that we need to enter here. If you just hit enter, we'll get trapped on this island where we can't move. And that's it, we basically have to reset the game from here. So if you're using the save feature, you'd be able to just go back to where we were. If not, then you'll need to restart from the beginning. And this is where we need to go and try and work out how we can actually hack the game. So maybe you've already looked at the network traffic and tried to manipulate some values with Cheat Engine. So let's see what else we can do. So actually the intended solution here was to use something like Procmon to see what happens whenever we launch the game. So you could use Procmon, you could use a variety of different tools here. And let us open the game again, Dark Secrets, and then if we go, let's go and filter Procmon, filter, control and L, and then we can go in here, we can pick what we want to filter on, let's do it by the process name. And then we can select from the drop down, which will be Dark Secrets. We'll add that and then apply it as a filter. So now the only actions that we're seeing on the operating system are coming from darksecrets.exe. 
Maybe we'll go and do a new game and see what events happen. But what we will notice in here is some directories. So we can see that in our app data local temp, it's put the game.exe. Maybe we'll go and have a look and see if there's some other things in there as well. So let's do that. Let's go to our C drive, which you can see mine is nearly full. I'm probably going to get rid of this commando VM soon and just put a lightweight or as lightweight as Windows can get onto it. Um, okay, local temp. And maybe we'll just go and have a look at some of these files. So we could check out our configuration and see what we've got here. Is there anything we can adjust? Is there anything of interest? What is this file here? Game.rgss2a. I don't know. So maybe we'll open up a browser and say rgssa2 file. Ah, uh, why does it give me light mode? There we go. All right. And what does it say here on the first link? An RPG Maker VX RGSS encrypted archive, which contains encrypted files created with the use of a program called RGP Maker VX. Okay, so probably we want to find out how to decrypt this archive. Let us try and do RGP Maker and then decrypt. You can see that the first result coming up is a decryptor. And we have some different Git repos that we can go to. One of them is Petshiko. I think I use this one. They might both do a similar sort of thing. Let's see. I use the second one. Maybe the first one will work as well, but let's just do this one because I know it works. And we've got a CLI that we can download. We've also got a user interface, which I used. And we can have a look at the instructions. So it says it can be used to extract encrypted archives made with the RGP Maker XP, VX, or VX Ace. And the software can also generate correct type project files for decrypted data. Okay, let's go to releases and pick which you want to download here. I'm going to download the one with the user interface. And let's take a copy of this file. I'll move this to the desktop. I'm going to create a new directory as well. Just call this hack and let's open up the decryptor. We can open up a file then, so we'll select this from the desktop. It doesn't actually show. Let me okay, so we've got some different options here. We need the second one, and there we go. So it's now got all of these different data types. We can extract them one by one, or we can do extract all, and we can also generate a project. So I'm going to extract all and generate project. I'm going to do that in the hack folder. And let's see, did that work? Looks like it did. So we could have a look around some of these folders, but these won't actually make any sense. We can try and open that just with like notepad or something. But as you can see, there are some words in here, but there's a lot of characters which aren't recognized. So let's go and download the tool that's actually used to make these projects. So RGP Maker. I downloaded the wrong one to begin with. So the decryptor did say which ones it supports. I can't remember what they are, but it's like three different ones it supports. And I can't remember which I downloaded first. Let's go products. I think we need the VX one. So the MZ one is what I tried first of all, and it didn't work. And we'll just download the free trial. Oh, okay. We'll accept whatever this risk is. And let's try and install it. Obviously, I'm doing this in a VM, so I'm not concerned with how trustworthy the software may be. I don't keep anything sensitive on here. And I'll just revert to a snapshot as soon as this challenge is solved. There we go, that's installed. Now you'll see that we got this error, it requires elevation. So what happened is I tried to install whatever came with it and it didn't work because we need to be admin. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna run as administrator. And this time it should install those. All right, done. Okay, let's take a look at this new program. And we'll just continue. We've got 30 days to trial it, so that's fine. And let us open up a project. We created a project using the decryption tool. So if we just go to our desktop and into the hack folder. There we go. We can open that up. And there's our game. And look, we can now start just modifying things. So like one of the first things I did here was, oh, Control and Z to undo. I removed this. I can't actually remember how I removed it now. Let me, we can go into events. Can I just delete this? Okay, deleted. So now we don't have to complete that first boss in order to get through to the second boss. So that'll save us a little bit of time straight up. And let's see what else we had here. We can go through our different maps. One of them is this one. So now that we're on the events option, I can select this and edit event. 
and we can actually go and have a look and see what the event is. And look here, we've got a password 39118326. So we could either, I guess we could just patch this as well. Let me try and edit, and then we could just change the password to eight zeros so that we don't need to worry about that again. Okay, apply. Okay, set it to one zero. Hopefully that's not gonna cause any issues. I didn't actually do this whenever I was trialing it the first time, but that's one thing we can do. And that would allow us to go through and fight the boss, which is, you can see here, we've got this final boss, which is what we're gonna go through to. And we could just go and try this and see what happens, but just to save a little bit of time, let me mention that this boss is unbeatable. So if we go into the database, tools, database, and then into enemies, and then we've got this demon lord, and you'll see that the max HP is incredibly high. I'm gonna change that to one. I'll change this to one as well. Just change everything to one, so it's like one hit. It can't evade anything. And then we'll leave the experience and the gold as it is. Hopefully that's okay. And now if we just go to save this, Hopefully we'll be able to beat this in one go. One other thing we need to do is go into our temp directory and grab this game.exe and we'll go and put this in the same location as the project we just created. Open up the game. Let's go and see if this has, I'm gonna close down the other one. Yeah, let's go and see if it's patched. We'll know if it has because there won't be anything blocking off that well. So we'll go through here. Straight over to the well, it looks good, so we should just be able to jump straight in here. And then we can talk to this guy. The passcode should be updated to all zeros. I'll be interested, by the way, if anybody solves this with Cheat Engine. I did have a quick look at it at the beginning, but I'm assuming you could solve this all with Cheat Engine. I don't know how much more difficult it would be, but um, maybe somebody will do it. Yep, that works okay, so all zeros, and that's going to take us through to the final boss. There we go. And anywhere we move here, we get this meaningless option or message that pops up and we need to fight. So hopefully our patch works and it'll just instantly be killed. Yep. And then it will come back with this flag. So this is base64 encoded. So if you write this down, which I did do, I can't see any way to copy it. If you write it down manually, then you can go and decode it with like just a standard base64, go and use Cyberchef or something like that. However, it's actually truncated part of the flag. So what you do need to do is go into the script editor in here and you basically need to go and try and find the correct scene. I believe it was the battle scene and we know that this has a capital N. So I'm going to do N, D, K, find next. We go down and then we find this long string which we can go and decode. So let's just go to Cyberchef and Paste this in from base64. Looks like it's now in hex, so we'll do from hex. And there we go, we've got back our flag. So shout out to Eternos and Mahmood for this challenge. I was really happy to see a couple of game hacking challenges in this CTF. And let us know if you solved this challenge any differently. Did you do it with Cheat Engine? Um, are you interested in learning more about Cheat Engine? If so, there's a 10 part series on the Integrity channel going through the various tutorials. And I hope you enjoyed the CTF as well. If you did, please go and rate it on CTF time so we get a good rating and everybody gets some good points. And any general feedback, you can leave that in the comments. Let us know, did you find the challenges too easy or too hard in general? Was there too much or too little of any particular category? How was the time? We did it for 36 hours. We were kind of debating whether to do 24 or 48. And we went in the middle. Bearing in mind that obviously it is quite time consuming and exhaustive to run a CTF with a small number of people. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it anyway. And as ever, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks. Bye -bye.